Hey yo, what's happening? I wanted to shoot this outside today, but we're in the middle of a dust storm. So I'm doing it inside, the lighting's not the best, but the content is what matters. So today I wanna to talk about how I was able to build the network starting from literally ground zero. For those of you that don't know, I moved out here to Arizona about three months ago and I knew maybe a couple people, but I had zero network, I didn't know anyone out here. For the most part, I knew maybe a, hand, a small handful. But one of the tips that I, that I picked up was from the four hour work week. And Tim Ferriss recommends volunteering at entrepreneur organizations or things of that nature, or things that you wanna be part, a part of. So I wanted to be a part of the entrepreneur's organization. However, they have a requirement of you need a million dollars in revenue a year before you can be a member. So I wanted to do the next best thing and do what Tim Ferriss recommended, which was try to volunteer. So I rang up the local EO agent, the Entrepreneurs Organization for Arizona, and I called them and I said, hey, I, I just moved here. I'm a young entrepreneur and I just wanted to see if I could volunteer for you. And it's funny enough for first because the lady thought that <laughs> I meant I wanted to donate and sponsor EO, but I told her no, I just wanted to volunteer my time and see if I can provide any value that I can provide. So she said, unfortunately I can't, but let's talk, uh, maybe, maybe there's something you can help us with, but you cannot directly volunteer for EO, I believe. So while that was happening, I also reached out to their Facebook page and messaged whoever their page admin was and that happened to be another entrepreneur who had a business and I got in contact with him and we worked something out and I was able to volunteer and help out with the EO's website just free of charge I just wanted to be a part of that group of people I wanted to provide value in any way that I could and that was in the form of providing my services to them at no cost and that was volunteering and helping EO with their website so I'm kind of jumping around right now, but the first lady, we talked, and eventually she, we found out that she was in need of what my services were. And for those of you that know, don't know, I'm a WordPress developer. And when she found that out, I went in, we chatted, and maybe after a week or two, three, we started working together. They had work for me, and it's been wonderful ever since. So that's how I was able to sort of Build, build the network and just get to know the type of people that I wanted to get to know. And this was starting at ground zero. I came in completely cold with no connections when I called up the EO organization. And now I'm working directly with one of them. And that was the first lady that I was talking about on the phone who said that I couldn't really, they didn't really have any volunteer opportunities. So I'm working with her. Um, she's down the road from me. She has her own agency and I'm doing work again. But back to the other guy who I reached out on the Facebook page, he also has his own agency and he was also in need of my services as well. So the, the key thing is I, I didn't go in trying to see what value I can get from them. I wanted to provide any value that I could to them. I was giving. I just wanted to give anything that I could, provide value to them. And I actually volunteered on the website and did work for them for maybe it's about three months now, and it was only until today that he called me and said, hey, you've been wonderful with our website, and I have a project that I'm, I'm looking to hire a developer for, and it'll be in November to January, or something along those lines. And the example, what I'm trying to get at is, I provided value to him for three months. I had no intentions of trying to get his business or anything, I just wanted to provide value and be around the entrepreneurs organization and those people. And what I, that, how I did that was again, providing value, offering my services for free. And in return, he found value in my work. And now he, we're gonna sit down and talk next week about another project that he has lined up. So again, I just wanted to summarize. The majority of the clients that I have for the work that I do is, I provided value to them at no cost initially. I didn't go in trying to hard sell or get something from them. And that's a problem that I see with just people in general. They're, they're always trying to get something. And nowadays especially, I, I find people are more on their guards when 
when people are trying to hear the uh, trying to radars go off when <laughs> when someone tries to get something from you because it's just a not not a good thing you can sense it and it just overall is a not a good vibe so I'm rambling again but almost all of the clients that I've had or and still have I was able to obtain them through providing value tremendous value and at no cost at mo most times I remember my first client I literally built the site out before they even considered me as a developer that they were gonna hire I built it out for them I said hey here it is I can do your work and I provided that value to them at no cost and this was the same with the network that I've been able to build out here in Arizona again I called I wanted to volunteer and when I found out I could whatever I could do I could volunteer on their website and help them out so I did that and now I have two people that two people in my network or they're, they're my friends now whatever you want to call and it's a uh, they, they, they have worked for me and it's just been a wonderful experience a, a symbiotic relationship because I'm providing value to them and they're providing value to me so again one more time recap provide value just be a giver just give 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 and you will receive in spades just everything that you could ever want I, uh, what what quote was it if you can help people Jim Rome or one of the motivational guys but it was along the lines of if you could help people get what they want then you will get what you want so provide value provide value give and you will get 100,000 billion times back in return so already until tomorrow I'll have better lighting tomorrow that's not dim inside my kitchen slash office slash den so alrighty provide value peace